hi youtube uh, this is kamal so today we are going to solve silo uh, from hack the box yeah i know this is my uh, vid seventh or eighth video during for my oscp but yes from last uh, one year i have not uploaded any video due to some uh, i was busy in another tasks i yeah uh, i can't explain here but yes i was busy so let's without wasting any time uh, let's start our to solve the silo so let's try to ping first one silo that is 10.10.82 10 yeah we are able to ping so now we are going to uh, run a nmap scan sc sc for default scripts sv for the running versions uh, versions of running services v for verbose then 10.10.10.82 10 uh, yeah so uh, basically uh, silo uh, i already solved the silo so without wasting any time or going to any rabbit holes uh, what i'll try to do to exploit the re uh, real vulnerability which which is based on silo is based on right so uh, basically silo is uh, exploitable to uh, oracle tns listener vulnerability so what's what is the root cause little analytics of the vulnerability uh, so there is a port number 1521 uh, where oracle tns is running on this system so uh, as per the version of this oracle uh, database i can we can say check that is uh, vulnerable to uh, that that particular vulnerability so what is the tns transport uh, network protocol right so when uh, a oracle database basically rdbms relation database uh, is installed on the server or system it try to uh, interact with the other uh, services using uh, tns listeners right so what what we are going to do we are first of all we will try to find the sids so what are the sids sid is service identifier nothing like i can say uh, it's a common of the database names right so we'll try to figure out the D, uh, sids for uh, for the running version of the oracle database on the system uh, then then we will try to you know uh, guess the password basically uh, and username or for this listener right to log in then we will upload a file using that particular username file uh, password uh, then we'll try to run that uh, our exploit and try to get a reversal right so there are lots of tools by uh, we can do this but today uh, i am going to use odat uh, which is uh, basically oracle uh, database uh, automated ex exploitable tools kind of something right so yes we can also use hydra to enumerate the sids and username passwords so today uh, i'll show you show you how we can um, enumerate the sids uh, using hydra also uh, as well as odat but yes uh, er it's upon you guys if you want to go ahead with the hydra to enumerate the you know uh, username and passwords then you can uh, check it on the google you will find a pretty much a good uh, sources by other researchers or uh, i can say the guys or who put that their their knowledge on the medium or github and wherever they are on personal websites right so here you can see uh, our nmap is scan completed we have 80 port there is 85 uh, microsoft running 808 oracle xml db enterprise edition which is unauthorized base x db then we have what we have yeah we have 1521 oracle tns listener so uh, by searching the google or you can check that this version is uh, vulnerable to the TNS, TNS listener vulnerability. So without wasting of that time searching Google and then uh, I'll, I'll just move to that exploitation part right. So hope it is visible to you. Uh, yeah if, if you have any questions guys please put into the comments. So first of all what we'll do uh, we'll try try to check are we uh able uh, that is tns uh, give me a moment 
टीन एस सी एम डी टीन एस सी एम डी वन जी देन आई गो फॉर दी वर्जन आई फन एच एच फॉर द होस्ट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट दैट इज अवर एटी टू एंड प्रेस एंटर या so it's showing error because it's password protected yes we can uh, run the hydra to you know uh, get the passwords for this but yeah i am not wasting my time for that uh, let's let's try to enumerate the sids right or i in layman uh, language we can say database's name of the oracle running and then I, uh, for that uh, i i'll first of all i'll use the python odat tool that is odat let me go to that uh, to folder then python 3 uh, then we'll put odat okay then sid guesser i think yeah sid guesser that is sid guesser if i'm not make a typo here then uh, we'll put hyphen s for the source then 10.10.10 .10 .10 our ip yeah so let it be run then we'll also move to hydra to check that whether which is fast right so i think i made some typo here uh, yeah i made typo in guesser that is guesser yeah so let's let's try to figure it out with hydra how we can run a sid animation with hydra that is hydra hyphen l then we will have some you know uh, sids uh, i i'll also download some open uh, sid list from the internet uh, that is list of hydra i think uh, cd odat let me go to odat hydra i place in the order that thing na no? if an l list no sid yeah sid list then i'll i'll go for the you know uh, s for the port number in the hydra 51512 which is uh, our port targeted port then the ip address 10.10.82 then i'll put here or a Call we want to enumerate the Oracle SIDs, and then T th that is the thread 32 and hyphen I because I also run some Hydra uh, enumeration, so I don't want to interact these this Hydra session with another. That's that's why I'm putting capital I. Then I, yeah. So we are able to found some valid databases or SIDs names right for the record. So let's move to ODAT. but it has find so you can check uh, as it's still being searching it's still being searching so yes i can say hydra is little bit hydra can do our task for little fast now so now move to uh, uh hello yeah now we are going to you know uh find the default username and password for the these databases right so you can pick any database i am going to pick this xi so let it be done or that it be done uh, then we are opening or yeah i am moving to new tab yeah and run cd or that i am you i will use or that python python 3 or that py then we are going to uh, go for the password guesser hope i will not make any typo here password guesser then hyphen s for the source 10.10.10.82 .10 .10 then i'll put hyphen p for port number 1512 then data hyphen d for the database we i am going to choose the that xe as a sid then i'll go for the accounts i am putting here the uh, word list basically a word list for the uh, you know username password list so i already downloaded it from the internet uh, default password for oracle 
then you can also download it yeah let's run it hope if there is no typo then it will run successfully go to that it is still being searching hydra gave us the results we have three uh, ids sids basically so yes continue please so guys it's upon us according to the you know functionality or targeting system uh, the time you have you can run or play with other tools also so i am choosing these tools because it's mostly work for me in the real time also so we have a valid credential scott and tiger so let's let's stop it here so we have scott and tiger as a username and password so now we are going to uh, yeah let me open here a uh, terminal vertically so i am going to run a msf vnome so using msf vnome i am going to i know this is a windows server so i am uh, uh, preparing a exploit in .exe uh, format so that will be uh, i would say windows hyphen p windows yeah then x64 then shell underscore reverse underscore tcp yeah so then i'll go for the l host l host will be my ip 10.10. .10. yeah 10.14.14 l port it could be anything so i am put it here that is uh, yeah this one lead then hyphen f for format exe output will be uh, i am saving this in the uh, home kali odat yeah odat directory basically uh, i am uploading from that so just saving my time a little bit so it will be shell or let's say um, silo dot exe enter let's wait for a moment mm. so uh, now we have the proper sid or uh, valid sid uh, and we also have the username and password for that uh, valid sid so now what we are going to do we are going to upload a file using that uh, database basically sid and that username and password right for that we also uh, we are again using the odat odat uh, utility module basically there is a module in odat that is util file upload uh, i think i'm python thun 3 odat i think i am messing with something python odat then we have a utility that is util file util file then we have as for source 10.10.10.82 then we will go for the port number space port 51512 then i will go for the u capital u basically that is our you know username that is scott capital p hyphen capital p for the password password would be tiger right tiger as per our enumeration then space then we will go for the database that is xe yeah xe uh, then hyphen hyphen put file slash i am going to put it in the temp folder of the uh, that uh, windows server targeted server our so oh. <coughs> name it as silo dot exe so ours then silo dot exe press enter let's see what we have here mm, yeah so it giving us a error right uh, i think i may yeah i just again type here that is put not pyt uh 
let's let's wait for a moment impossible to put silo insufficient really right so uh, we are trying to upload a file in um, uh, on system targeted system so it's giving us insufficient privileges so what we are going to do we are again run this command as a uh, sys dba because you know sys dba is something kind of uh, user who have full permissions of that right so we are trying to guess that this code is already had the permission of sys dba so that that is a uh, uh, you know hit and trial method what i am saying as per my understanding this is a hit and trial method but yes you can also do that so yeah our file is uploaded folder like silo dot on xic temp directory right good so now we are going to run a netcat if lnv p our port number was 1137 enter so now we are going to run the or uh, try to execute the uh, that silo exe on the uh, server right so by utl uh, we are uh, we are able to upload the file so there is one more module in the uh, odat that is external file so i am going to use that external table sorry external table external table yeah let me external table uh if i am not wrong yes that is fine sp scott user d now we are moving this uh this one so we already have a file on temp uh, directory then sys dba let's see what we are get here uh, finger crossed yeah i yeah i used put file so we are not no need any file put here yes that is execute sorry that would be execute we have to execute the file so that is temp in temp directory yeah temp directory silo oh again made mistake temp silo yeah silly mistakes now yeah we got the shell so we are trying to who am i we are root an authority so guys uh, this is the silo uh, we, which is have contain the tns vulnerability so we try to uh enumerate the sids then we successfully enumerate the sids using hydra and odat already uh let's see what what odat yeah odat only able to fetch the xe right so but with hydra we are able to uh find three uh validated x sids right then we'll try to you know guess the passwords or default uh, password for the, the databases or sids which we have found using odat uh I, i use the default uh, passwords username password list from the internet then we create a uh, exploit using a msf venom upload it to the server using odat and then we execute this uh, our exploit and got the shell right so guys thank you uh, for being with me Uh, if you have any comment uh, doubts please or questions put into the comments i will definitely answer them on as asa right so thank you guys thanks again